are out and about. We are gonna go grocery shopping for peak week. Since this weekend's gonna be crazy busy with the Halloween party, just gotta get it done. And we're picking up beer and water and all kinds of stuff. None of which party. you can enjoy. I know, no alcohol for me, but it's fine. So I'm gonna show you guys my grocery haul at Trader Joe's. We went to Costco just now to pick up egg whites in bulk because I go through a lot of egg whites. Hey buddy. <laughs> See that? The service that, here. That it nice. flew right into our cart. I Ooh, I didn't want to make you guys eat some tacos. So let's do some peppers. I want to talk to you. The asparagus was good yesterday. Oh yeah. So asparagus is a diuretic. So we're getting lots of asparagus for pig weight. We like asparagus. <laughs> Alright, we have sweet potatoes at home, so we're good there. Avocados. This stuff is so good. I wish I could get <laughs> Cookie butter. It's so good you're not going to get it? Cookie butter. I cannot. The only thing I'm going to have is almond butter. I cut out peanut butter and everything because it's bloating. So, I'm going get some more of this. You guys, this is the best thing of my life. I can smell it from here. <sighs> but I can't. I can't get it yet. It's <laughs> Yeah, These things are great. They're pretty good. They're so good. I don't know why I torture myself. I don't know. I don't know. All right, lots of chicken. I'm just gonna do chicken, fish, and turkey because um, I don't really react well to beef. So I'm just keeping it clean, keeping it simple. Ground turkey. I'll probably mix this in with uh, some seasoning and some sweet potatoes, maybe some rice if I can have carbs. Got some butternut squash. This is awesome with like almond butter, some sea salt. It's delicious. So we got the Halloween party ready, and someone's attached to my hip. Massage. So I will give you guys a tour of everything, all the decorations. Here's Adra, Lomas Mermaid, all this delicious food I can't eat. Sunday. Last night had the Halloween party. It went great. It went wonderful, amazing, but I am drained. Oh my goodness. I am actually an introvert and I love parties. I love throwing them. They're so fun, but they drain me. They suck the life out of me. I love it and it looks like I'm an extrovert, but I'm not. I'm not, guys. This is what happens after a big event. I'm drained and then just being tired and not being able to eat what I want. I like prepping for the party and decorating. Like it was so much, so much goes into a party. We had probably, I don't even know how many people, 80? I don't know, maybe more. I really don't know. I, I can't count. I couldn't even, I can't do math right now. 
Not that I can anyways. I have to use calculator. Anyways, so <laughs> went great. Glad it's over with so I can really focus these last six days. Count them six days away. And then, you know, another seven days after that. Until I'm done for a while. I'm excited though. Um, I did perfect with my diet yesterday. I had half of a protein cookie. It was vegan, so we're still good there. But I was up until one in the morning or so, and then Audra wouldn't go down, Brenya wouldn't go down, and I'm like, children, just go to sleep. They are party animals, man. So I split a cookie with Audra last night, and I woke up this morning a pound and a half heavier, which I knew it was gonna happen. I'm retaining water because I was stressed and um, I'm hoping it just drops back off. I did have a piece of pumpkin bread. It was amazing, it was amazing and it was worth it. So because I had that piece of pumpkin bread, I have to cut carbs the rest of the night. So we'll see how that goes. You can tell I'm just tired and my face is broke out because I didn't wash my makeup off my face last night. I just can't think. I will walk into a room. Be like, Why am I here? I have no idea. I was making the girls' food the other day. And like, I don't know how to make a sandwich. I don't know how to make a sandwich right now. How do you do it? I don't know. You need bread, some ham and cheese, and other than that, I don't know. How do you, how do you do it? I was super nervous. I was super nervous checking in with Coach today. I'm like, oh, so I weigh. What did I say? 119, I mean 119.2. I woke up um, yesterday at 117.8. I'm 5'8". That's not healthy. That's way too thin, but it's, I guess, where I need to be for, for show day. I don't know. I guess we'll carb back up and maybe I'll gain a little bit more weight back. I don't know, but he's really happy in the spot that we're in so that makes me happy i cannot even tell you the last time i weighed 117 pounds because i naturally am around 130 or 135 that's where my body likes to hang out but i'm just really emotional i feel i feel just tired guys <laughs> it's hard i cannot wait for this to be over like it's it's been so fun but i am so tired i am like vibrating like shaking and i just want to be able to eat what i want i want to be able to eat a halo top and you know just be able to enjoy life and i will be able to i'll be able to enjoy thanksgiving and and still stay on track because i'm going to be still flexible dieting, still reverse dieting, and um, I'll be able to stay on track with my body after baby girls that are signing up for the program. By the way, sign up because slots are moving. Limited slots available these last couple weeks that are the hardest because your diet, you know, it decreases, you know, the carbs decrease and you're just tired and tired of doing so much cardio and you're just depleted and uh it's hard and I'm only doing this for one day you know I'm I'm doing this for a competition for one day and then I'm going to be back to to my regular off-season body which I love I'm comfortable in that and I like being 130 pounds and not freezing. So that's the update, guys.